What it do ski YouTube? It's your boy, my name Malcolm, checking back in. Hope all is well. Appreciate the love in the comments as per usual. Like the video if you like the video and all that jazz. But let's get down to the business. If you know Nike, then you know they've been doing this for a hot minute in terms of coming out with some fire releases. And specifically, the Nike SP program has been around since the mid 1980s in terms of the basketball silhouettes. Stemming from that actually came a Nike SB silhouette that is very, very iconic. This specific shoe in the box right here is actually reminiscent of the University of Iowa. There was a Wu-Tang collaboration that stemmed from this with the iconic Rap Collective logo on the heel. And ultimately, when you see this shoe from the colorway alone, it's gonna stay in your mind. You're gonna think about like Wiz Khalifa, you're gonna think about like Bumblebees, you're gonna think about this as the epitome of a great black and yellow shoe. Since that Wu-Tang collaboration, this shoe has really taken on an identity of its own. But this honestly isn't the first time it's re-released. It first came back out in 1999 and it was listed under kind of a golden rod colorway. And then back in 2005, again, is Nike SB's part of Be True to Your School Pack, which featured a lot of university or college related releases, with this one obviously being the University of Iowa. And now in 2020, Nike has pulled the lever again and unlocked another super fire Nike Dunk High that I get to talk about with you today. So let's really get into it. This is gonna be one of the shoes I've been most excited about all year. Full transparency, I'm not the biggest fan of Nike Dunk Highs. I'm more a fan of the lower silhouettes, but this color blocking is amazing and you can never go wrong with black and yellow. When it comes to the box, Nike opted to give you the usual Nike SB High box, which is consistent of a all red box with the white Nike hits on the top and around the sides. But when it comes to the shoe, this is gonna be a shoe that breaks some necks. Honestly, what other shoe has this colorway that is as memorable as this? This Nike SB Dunk High is definitely a head turner. Like, you know when you're walking in the mall and someone hits you with one of those? This is gonna be crazy, but I wanna take a closer look at the details, so let's do that right now. The Nike SB Dunk High is one of the Nike iterations that really has a legacy behind its name. With countless colorways and countless releases, time and time again, they never cease to amaze me. Specifically with this shoe too. As I was saying at the start of the video, I'm not the biggest fan of Dunk Highs, but depending on the color blocking, some of them you just, you just gotta have, you know? They're just like the must-haves on the checklist, and this would be one of these shoes. Starting with the outsole, Nike opted to give you an all Varsity Maze outsole, which is complemented by the Varsity Maze hits on the upper of the shoe and the black leather on the quarter panels of the shoe and the toe box too. In terms of the material, Nike opted to give you smooth leather throughout the rest of the shoe. And I talked about it in one of my latest videos for normal that when it comes to dunks, Nike does not skimp on materials. And this is a good example of this. Like this leather is pretty plush. It is smooth leather all around. And I can't complain in terms of quality control. I cannot see any flaws right now. So that's always a good sign, you know, honestly. Moving up to the upper of the shoe, as you can see, it has the varsity maze and black color blocking with the black mid panel, which is accented by the Varsity Maze swoosh. And on the toe box, same usual suspects. It's the all black leather, which is perforated, kind of reminiscent of an SB Dunk Low or a Jordan 1, which was actually inspired from this shoe. And moving on to the back heel of the shoe, there's another Varsity Maze hit on the back collar. And on the inside of the shoe, Nike chose to go with a Varsity Maze hit in terms of the guts. And moving on to the insole, it's Varsity Maze as well, with the black Nike hit as a logo. Towards the front of the shoe, it's a mesh tongue as per usual. And this comes with three sets of laces. First being Varsity Maze, second being black, third being white. In terms of preference, Varsity Maze for me is all the way up here. Black's okay, and I think the white could just be a throwaway. Like if you don't use the white laces from this shoe, you can definitely use them on any of your other dunks and you'd be flawless, honestly. And that's really about it. This shoe is definitely a shoe with tons of heritage and detail. And it goes without saying, when people see this shoe, it will break their neck. Whether it's this, whether it's the Wu-Tang collaboration, which is highly coveted now and highly inspiring on this shoe. This is definitely a shoe you'd want to get in your collection if you can. It is coming out soon, but you do have to follow normal on social channels as per usual to see exactly when the release date is and the procedure to get those. As I was saying at the start of the video, the Nike Dunk High has countless history, whether it's releases, whether it's activation events, whether it's co-signs from celebrities, or whether you have it in your closet right now just sitting as you're watching this video. This is definitely a shoe I would consider iconic in terms of the silhouette at least, and you can't go wrong with some black and yellow, as Wiz Khalifa once said. But let me know what you guys think. How do you guys feel about this latest Nike Dunk High drop? It may be the last one of the year if I'm being fully honest with you because we're approaching that time where 
January is right around the corner and there's gonna be an influx of shoes and Dunk might not get priority in all honesty. I think these are great and I think they should definitely be in your collection if you have a chance to get them. But what do you think? Do they live up to the hype? Or should they have kept these in the vault for a couple more years until uh, people kind of forgot about them? And they, you know how Nike does it. When people just forget about it, they pull out the retro and if it's super good, they retro it three or four times. And this is a prime example of that. As usual, like the video if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. So many of you out there watching right now already have, so I gotta thank you for that. I think we're past 3K now, pushing on the 4K sub, so. I really can't say too much. Like every step of the way you guys have been supporting and showing true, honest love and really <laughs> expressing yourself in the comments for good or bad. So keep on doing that. But make sure to follow Normal on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok to stay in the loop with everything clothing and streetwear related. And if you want to find me, you can find me at Mind Amalgam on Instagram, YouTube and everywhere else. Appreciate the love and appreciate the view. I wish the best to you and yours and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces!